connected. Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. Taking a different trail this evening here, but I'm not sure if I can go through this on the Africa Twin. It's a lot different swinging around 500 pounds than it is uh, the Dual Sport, you know, 250L. It's a lot lighter. So when you're messing with something like this, this much weight, it's I'm sure a lot harder to do. I love the bike, but it's not, it's the Africa Twin is not as fun out in the woods uh, trail riding like this as the 250L was, no doubt. So the CVDL was just, I mean, light and nimble. And I had some real good knobby tires on it, those tractionators, but on this thing is just the stock tires and they're okay as long as you're smart, but they can get you in trouble pretty easy too, so I may end up turning around and coming back. We'll see down here. See what it looks like. On the mud, where the old mud holes are about dried up, this thing is just, uh, it just kind of slides around everywhere. It's not much control. No traction hardly whatsoever. It does all right on this uh, rocky stuff. It does okay. And it's not a big hill climb, so you can kind of maneuver okay on that. But this ain't that long a trail. It just got a downhill that's pretty good. Here's some of that mud I was talking about. This stuff is really slick. I can feel the bike trying to slide into the low spots. Get on a little bit of slope and it just wants to slide off into the rut. That's what happens is you're flying along. I've done a lot, I've seen a lot on video, so you're flying along great and you hit a, a slope uh, where there's a rut. And instead of being in the rut, you slide off into it and crash because your wheel turns and because you're trying to correct yourself instead of just going with it and getting down in the rut. You try to hang on your line where you're at, and that's what gets you in trouble. There's no pond. They put them out here for the deer and the animals. Conservation doses them. I've not much done much uh, log hopping on this thing either. These are just little bitty ones here, but I've not uh, went over any big logs on this thing. And I haven't got my alt rider crash bars yet, so I don't want to get too crazy. Even though I say that, but even when I get the alt rider crash bars, I still don't want to lay it over. But uh, I'd feel a lot better if I did. Syria is pretty out through here, out through the pine trees. I don't remember where that one goes. It probably don't go nowhere. I bet it just goes out here and you have to turn around. Let's go see. Yeah, that's all it does. It makes a circle right here, actually. It might go out through there, but it ain't gonna go very far, I bet you. problem is if I get too far down this hill and then decide that I can't go no further I'm gonna have to figure out a way to turn around and get back up it that's what you run into so I may have to get off and look before I go too far Cause it's pretty tore up.
Murphy walk down this way and just see if I think I can do it. If I stay on this upper side here and not get down there in that mess, it's this, but this is the easy part. Well, I don't think I ought to try it. It probably don't look like it on the camera, but that's actually really steep. If you go around this way, it's really steep and just super deep gravel right there. And then there's a log down there. This way, there's no way I'm going to go over that log. So, probably better be safe and turn around and not try it. Oh, well, it was a thought, guys. If I had some tires, sure make a difference. Okay, now I'm wore out. Walking back up that hill. Man. Bigger hill than it looks like. For sure now I can get this beast turned around. Yeah, if you notice I forgot my Magellan TRX-7. And it shows all these trails. It's handy because like that one back there. I could look on it and I could tell that it don't go nowhere before I go down it. But I went off this morning going to work and forgot it. <laughs> Spin the back end around. That's one way to do it. Get it turned around. Spinning on that moss. Uh-oh, now I'm really still stuck. No, not really. Stupid traction control. Okay. It's wet. The leaves are wet underneath. It's not going. There. I'm mobile. Except for this sassafras limb hung on the shift lever. Oh well, that wasn't much of an adventure. There's a beer can full of beer. Man, I got warmed up walking up that hill. But I had to walk down far enough I could tell because I knew where the bad spot was. I figured maybe somebody had had by now cut that log out, but they haven't. I need to come down here and do that. Bring a chainsaw and cut that thing out of there. Oh well, it was a thought. It's fun to be out riding today anyway. But it wouldn't be so fun if I got stupid and tried it and laid the bike over and skinned it all up. Then I wouldn't be so happy. So. Right now, life is good. Real good. You gotta always remember to uh, turn that stinking trashing control off when you go off-road. I always forget it, it seems like. And 
until I get in a situation like that and then I, I need it off. I'm going to have to get another set of tires for this thing too. I do have another set but they're stock. They're like brand new stock. They have 23 miles on them. Somebody bought it, took it home from the shop, put uh, aftermarket tires on and I bought them off eBay like dirt cheap. So I couldn't turn it down. They'll be handy on road trips. Make my way back out to the highway here. Some more of that slick mud under the leaves. I know what that is. I was going down there because that's Dale's log down there where Dale done the log jump. But, it didn't happen. Two fifty L, I've been up and down it like it is, no problem. I mean, uh, dozens of times. But it's just so much lighter, easier to control the weight when you're on that stuff than this Africa Twin is. I like the Africa Twin in the woods. I mean, as far as just fire roads, but not really the extreme off-roader on this bike. So that's why one of these days I do plan on getting another 250L. Stay down in the rut that time. I don't slide off into it. It's a lot easier. A lot of times just ride in the rut. Then there's nowhere to go. You're going to stay in it. You're going to slide off sideways and go layer down. Trying to keep out of it. Some good camp spots out here. I'm about back to the highway, so appreciate y'all watching Woodsman Adventures. Don't forget, click, don't forget to click the thumbs up. Please do it. Click subscribe if you're not. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just search for Woodsman anywhere online. You'll find me. Catch y'all in the next video.